Election season is upon us, and that means you've probably seen your fair share of political ads, including right here on ABC 15. Viewers like you have reached out asking why we air these ads, especially if they're mainly opinion and candidates just attacking each other. I'm Ben Brown with ABC 15 political team, here to answer that question. We had lost more Marines than any other battalion in the war. 48 men. We need to look at big ideas to bring water into Arizona. If Biden wins, can he even survive? Convicted of 34 felonies, found liable for sexual assault. Why do people, broadcasters, have to air these political acts? Yeah, sure. So a couple things. Um, broadcasters actually don't have the option to say no to political ads because broadcasters use uh, airwaves, which are considered public property. And so it's actually a legal requirement. That legal requirement is called the no censorship rule. Essentially, the Federal Communications Commission, which regulates broadcasters like ABC 15, wants the viewers to decide for themselves. You could really curtail a race if we start getting involved in the content of the ads. The rules are different, however, when it comes to ads from political action committees or PACs, which are not subject to the no censorship rule. So broadcasters, radio stations can turn down those ads from PACs, from political parties, these special interest groups for reasons on their content. However, once again, they rarely do because they just don't want to get involved in this picking winners and losers. That doesn't mean candidates can say whatever they want, though. There are limits. Um, if um, an attack ad defames the governor or anyone else, you know, that that could be actionable. Ben Brown, ABC 15, Arizona.